guys, this is the premiere of the movie The Ghost and the House of Truth, produced by Ayo Boyo. It is an award-winning Nigerian film and it is finally here in Nigeria and we can now see this movie. A lot of celebrities and fans and movie lovers are here to watch this film and of course it is a closing movie of Afrif 2019. My name is Ahine Atta. I'm standing on the blue carpet ready to speak with all the guests present here tonight. Don't go anywhere. Keep watching our Forever TV. I will be right back. I can't wait for Nigerians to see it. Mm. It's a beautifully shot movie, even though the locations were not easy. Makoko. Yes. Um, you know where Makoko is? I know it's like a creek. Oh, wow. Okay. It's in Makoko. <laughs> if you know Makoko, you know it's not an easy place to shoot in. And uh, we shot at the old railway compound in uh, Yaba. Okay. So it was, it was fun. She be picky way happy. Yes, of course. She didn't run away. I know my own daughter. One girl they miss. And your car, now be the last car where she enter. Does this I get something to do with this girl? And what do you want to be that? I don't know if that woman is guilty, but I look at Henshaw is trying to solve, solve <laughs> one a mystery. mystery. And so that's, 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 that's the extent of the knowledge <laughs> of the film. So I play a lawyer who's representing a man who is thought to be guilty of a crime. My rock, but long way, so the film come, you know, you know, get everything. Most so come on. Everybody has been raving about it, mm -hmm. so I think it's going to be an amazing, an amazing watch. Mm -hmm. I have very, very high expectations for it. So far, so good. We know this movie will be the closing movie for Afrif 2019. Have you been attending Afrif? Oh yes, I have. Okay, so how has your experience been? It's been, been amazing. It's been very interesting. It's been rich. Afrif is always, it's always a treat, especially if you're, if your number one hobby is to watch film. So it's like Christmas. So you Thank came you. all the way from South Africa I to did. screen your movie in Afri. Mm -hmm. Why? Why did you do that? Well, it's a story around gold mining oh. and the the illnesses of silicosis and tuberculosis, mm. which occur in South African gold mines and many mines across the continent. Mm. And it's a story of of exploitation and illness and mm. how economies are built on the backs of migrant workers and. Mm the exploitation of workers and it's a similar thing that's happening here with oil mm. and the communities that really suffer. How was it getting into character? Um, I think it was easy because I got to be another character mm -hmm. and I learned new personalities and I learned new emotions because sometimes you don't know the emotions you're supposed to put on your face. So guys, I'm standing right beside Omoye Uzamere and she is one of the producers of this award-winning movie. How do you feel tonight? I feel very excited because this is the first time Nigeria will see this film. Mm -hmm. It's more than just about making films, it's about having someone in their homes and you're reaching out to them and you're able to change their minds about something you're able mm. to transform them that is the beauty that is the power of the work that we do i know you're the co-producer of this project um how was it like working on this project um i like to say that this is one of the best productions i've worked on um we worked before we started principal photography we had worked on it for about three years and then when we started to put the cast together and filming it, it was really amazing. For it to win an international award, it mm. means that it's good production value. It means um, great acting. It means um, great production mm. value in terms of um, camera work, sound, you know, the technical aspect must be really sound. This is one movie that has really just focused on the fact that, yes, we still have some good eggs, mm. you know, within the system. Mm. And, um, and they do great work. How well are we doing in terms of accepting new faces? Mm. in the film industry the biggest thing is having that opportunity available and that's one of the things that we're really passionate mm -hmm. about at silverbird is giving young filmmakers an opportunity giving them a chance True. we'll take it to the box office yeah. and and try and ensure that we have the most successful release that we can hello my name is chica Ike, and you're watching afro revel tv stay tuned and look down